Hello friends, welcome to the long-awaited sequel in the free-to-play series with some good luck, some bad luck, and some questions. It's like the good, the bad, and the ugly. I guess I'm the ugly in that thing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, on with the video. It says Ugly Greg. Right, oh, first things, let us discuss the good. So we have the cav wheel today. If you are eagle eyes, you may have seen this in the video uh, thumbnail. I've been fighting for so long. And let's hope it doesn't give it away here, just in case you didn't see the thumbnail. Of course, rock is as slow as can be. So let's uglify me for a while first. Right, done. So for a long while, we've been fighting with Zug and Herman. Zug being Max, Herman being 5511. We've been fighting with... Wo and YSG both being Max and YSG being Triple Relict. Because we've got good equipment here on Huo, I thought now is the time to finally get myself a cab pairing. Right, we'll go into Shajar in a minute, but let's go for the cab pairing. And I thought, who better than my good friend Joan of Arc, Joan Prime. I think Joan is now my favourite cab commander. She's just so versatile, she works with everything. I was thinking of waiting for the next Cav Commanders, but I thought, no, they're, they're a long time away. Let's go for Joan Prime. She does everything. She's, listen, if, if you go with Huo or Nevsky, Joan's the best secondary, no questions asked. So we went with Huo. <clears throat> Joan is the secondary of choice. I only had about 200 heads, so I thought, right, I should probably wait a while until I can max Joan, because I'm never going to get lucky. I'm never going to get the hallowed thing. And then I thought, you know, it's five in the morning, I'm quite tired, I've got work today, yeah, fuck it. So I just thought, let's have a go. Let's have a go and see how well we do with Joan. This was how well we did. I have never, ever, ever seen that before. So the reason to the uninitiated this is so lucky is because with Joan, you want two things. You want max or you want 5115. You can also get 5515, but when you've got, I mean, I had 200 heads. I this I have no skill resets because this is a free to play account. I, you can get one I think from those uh, those anniversary events, but this was just pure luck. I just upgrade. Oh, wow, it's the fifth one. That's pretty good. Oh, it's the fifth one again. That's pretty good. Fifth one again. This is mad. Let's see what we get for the next one. You are kidding me? So from just no skill resets, no anything, just pure luck throwing it out there. I've gone from putting all my heads into yeah, I now have a five one one five Joan. I've got no more heads. I mean, I don't know what my next plan will be. It's probably going to be get the 5515. Five, if I'm honest, I never expected luck like this. So, uh, yeah, I, maybe I'll just save heads. Maybe this is perfectly good enough to fight with. So our two main marches now are, madly enough, a Huo and 5115 Joan and a Zug 5 and uh, 5511 Herman. So we got no heads. We got good equipment on two marches. This is the Zug march at the moment. One crit. This is the Huo march. You'll notice it now has a horn. It did not crit. I do not have any crits. My friend Crank, good old Crank, he had no crits for ages, whinging, wanting whinging, giving it all this. Oh, I hate my life. I hate my lack of crits. That's how he sounds. Uh, bang, crit the horn. Sorry, bang, crit the ring, bang, crit the archer weapon. Good, that's good, mate. I'm really, really happy for you. Congratulations. No, I'm delighted for him. That's fantastic news for him. I wish I could get some of that luck. I am basically out of materials now. I, I have some blueprints, but the things I want. Let's, I mean, let's see how many blueprints I actually have. Clearly not many. Sorry, how many materials I have. Okay, so I have 15 materials. I'm just going to make... I've made one ring and horn. I'm just going to make another ring and horn to complete the set. I think instead of trying to focus on a third set at the moment, let's just go with let's just go with what we know is good. These sets are pretty good. Let's just make them better. Which leads me to question two. Well, actually, question one. That wasn't a question. That was just me saying words. So Shajar is out. I have seen some. Uh, sorry, let me check. Yeah, my call's in eight minutes, so I'm good for now. I've seen some reviews of Shajar. I, I'm always hesitant to go with the early reviews. I mean, the early reviews were, oh, Luce's quite good. Oh, um, Herman's quite good. So I'm just wait a while. I've seen the early reviews. The early reviews seem to be, she's okay. Someone, I saw Chisgul's thing. It's a long video and excuse my uh, 
is it not through any lack of anything, but I haven't got a chance to watch it all yet. I saw a good video doing Shajar and Commander X against Cavalry, and Shajar did win every fight. I'm unsure what to do. So we're only going one march at the moment. At the moment being the crucial thing. We have a Zug Herman. I'm presumably going to max the Herman. That's probably the next step now. And I'm probably going to say, YSG, you've done a fantastic job. I'll still use for barb chaining. But for now, son, you're out of the you're out of the duo. You're out of the band. Go and sit on the bench and wait for the next archer we work on to get you back in. So I don't really worry too much about YSG at the moment. I, he's just going to be used for chaining. The question is, do, well, my instinct is we don't do anything with Shajar. We go with Zug and we go with Herman. We just work on getting Herman up to 5551 and then probably max him eventually. And we just leave Shajar on the bench. I don't know if that's the right move though, because maybe she's excellent. Maybe today was just like preliminary testing. She's, she did all right. Maybe she's going to be doing a lot, lot better as the, uh, as the days go on. I'm not sure. All I know is that now I've got Huo and the incredibly lucky Joan. I'm keen to go with that as the Cav March, and I'm keen to go with Zook and Person X as the Archer March. So which leaves probably Shajar sitting, well, not on the bench, sitting in the uh, <laughs> in the column of unsummoned commanders for now. That huge column on this account, as you can see. Jesus, that is big. Yeah, so if you think I'm wrong, please let me know, because if you think I should go with Zug YSG, my instinct is Zug YSG might be better than Zug 5511 Herman, but Max is obviously shits all over YSG, so long term we're going to probably go Herman. Yeah, so the question is, long term do we go Herman or Shajar? There we go. Let me know in the comments. For what else is on the account, I mean, we've done nothing with armaments, we've still got really good set here. And a pretty good set here. The question's always, do we put Hunter here? I'm just slowly accumulating these transmutation stones. I'm on 25 at the moment. I suppose this will be question two. Do we save the transmutation stones for when we finally work on the third set? Where's Liu Che? I think I've put my, yeah, I've put my default set on Liu Che. I mean, this is my current arch set. Obviously not very good. No inscriptions, no anything. It's not unusable it's pretty close to unusable we've got iron wall here you know i've got some things i could work on we've got some inscriptions here more than i thought actually yeah, even well, that's not very good is it damn it damn it oh this one's always such a bastard to get really is this this in this for arch is always such a bastard to get is this the best we can have yeah well yeah, probably that okay we've got some things here yeah we've got some things so it's not going to be, for now, it's not good, but it's going to be a long time till we use that march. Should I be using my transmutation stones here and preparing a really good arch march? Or should I be, like, drilling down on the best bits of, uh, so, there we go, Hunter. So, should I be using my transmutation stones to try and get a high roll on archer health? You yeah, know, that's just great. Yeah, another roll on archer health there. You know what I mean. So, should I be trying to get the extra edges or just saving them for later on same same logic applies here we got some low rolls on cav health that's just that's very similar to ysg just a very big very big set of rolls with no, very similar to zoo sorry very big set of rolls with no inscription so let me know what you think i should do I, I guess at the moment there's no need for me to hurry up with the inscriptions and the the armaments they're doing their job as for this kingdom we are patiently waiting I'm not sure if we're going into the next queuing phase for KVK or the one after that. Either works for me, as you can see, my I don't really have many resources in the bag and I don't have many, well, I don't have any farms here. So I'm having to be a bit, well, if I'm honest, I'm going to beg crank for resources. That's what's going to happen. But I'm having to be a bit sparing with everything. We've got uh, the Alliance Mobilization on. I'll make sure I get my 1k points, no problem. But I'm not going to be going mad on training all these simply because can't really spare the gold like I'd spend a lot of gold on the horn to get it inscribed to get it made uh, crafted and then get it with the the awakening oh windows is telling me it needs some updates as it seems to tell me every day now mine was still live so that's where we are on the account so we've got kvk coming in three to four weeks I think maybe a little suit well pre-kvk it's either in two and a half weeks or four and a half weeks right we got we're not registered for this. I mean, let me just check. We're not registered. Not registered. Not registered. 
not registered. Cool, cool, cool. We have MG on at the moment, but it's, as I've, I've always said on this account, even though I'm starting to get some decent marshes, and I think it would be a huge mistake for me to ever try and, like, I try and focus on any of these commanders. I could rally, I could garrison in Ark of Osiris, anything other than that, I'd just be... I'd be embarrassing myself and my fellow kingdom members. I'm not too fussed about that. Karak's great, of course. We always need those uh, those heads. This, this is an account that really does need gold heads. I'm not too bothered about them usually, but gold heads are very much of the uh, thing of the day here. We actually did get an eight spin on Joan. Aside from this, I'm probably just going to leave it. Probably... Mm -hmm. Maybe spin charge. Such a big direct damage, but... Mm, we will see with Shajar, we will see. As I said, we've only got Zook here, who's a real cracked commander, and I still think Zook Herman's probably going to be the best combination. But I'm interested to hear any new opinions. Let's finish off with clicking some buttons. I doubt there's any gold ones today. I don't think I have any gold things to open, because I open them as and when they come. There we go, friends. I'm still very much playing the account. Obviously, I'm in KBK on my other accounts. This one's taking a back seat for now, but I'm still, you know, chugging along. I like that we've got two good marches. I'm feeling good about that. I, my instinct is we just make them better and better. Ring good horn here, so fill in the gaps. That's another 240 materials. After that, we can put this. We can look at this. And then after that, we can go and look at this. <laughs> yeah, not the, not the most developed infantry march at the moment after I uncrafted everything, but... Time is on our side. We've got all the time in the world. Well, until my untimely demise. Anyway, that's the update for today. Let me know what you think of Shajar and yeah, tell me in the comments how ridiculously lucky I've got with Joan. I've never seen that before. To get it on a, like, I tried to get something like that on my pay to win account and I used about eight skill resets and got nothing. So to get this here is pretty mad. Anyway, that's it from me today. It's been a bloody pleasure, friends. I will see you next time. Bask in my good luck, my bad luck, and my ugly face.